All right, we're getting ready to turn on to Disneyland Drive and head into the new parking structure. The new parking structure is open, so we're gonna go check it all out. As soon as I get my parking pass, I'll do my opening so you know what day it is. New parking structure. Yeah, buddy. They tell you it's not open. I called yesterday. But it's open. Look at this. No one's doing it. Well, because if anybody calls Disneyland, they will tell them they have to go to the main, the same main entrance because I called yesterday to confirm that this was open. And they said, no, you have to go in the same main entrance. Check this out. What? We are in the new parking structure, everybody. Good morning. Wow. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> Amazing. We're oh going up. My gosh. We're going up the new parking structure. First time up the new parking structure ramp. There's the old one over there. That's where we've been parking for years. So they tell you it's not open. But it's open. Don't hit the cones. I won't. I'm going around. <laughs> Just checking stuff out, looking around, you know. Brand spanking new. Well, there's people in here. Yep. They want you to park right here. Yep. I'd like to go to the left if they'll let me. Thank you. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We are back at Disneyland. It's the second day of July, and we have parked in the new Pixar Pals parking structure. This parking structure is right next door to the Mickey and Friends parking structure, but it has a separate entrance. So as you saw, we came in magic way to get into the parking structure and park. It was super easy. There was no line to get in. So now we're just kind of checking it out and seeing it's amazing because it's so clean and new and just different. So we are perked on the Finding Nemo level and we're just gonna check it out now. If you need any kind of assistance on any of the levels in here, they have this lit up box and you just press the button and they will come and assist you. The other thing that's really cool and it's something that they have just recently added to the Mickey and Friends parking structure is they have added lights that will start showing what spaces are available. It looks like in this structure they don't quite have them working yet, but in the other structure the lights have just recently come on and at the very, very end of each lane where you turn to come down is a big lit up sign that says the number of spaces available down that lane. So it makes it really, really easy and convenient for you to know whether it's worth it to drive down there or not, if there's only one or two spaces or if there's 50 available. So there's the new walkway bridge. It's not quite finished, but it heads to downtown Disney. It actually comes off of the parking structure on level two. And as soon as it's done, it'll take you right over so you don't have to wait to cross the street at the signal. It's really gonna be wonderful. So 
So we're inside the big circle area that everyone's been showing. It's up above the new escalators and it's just so incredible to have watched this be built from the ground up and watch every step along the way. Then when they put this up, we were so interested to see what it was like inside and it's really very nice. Our fish first trip down the new escalators. Nice and smooth. <laughs> There's the old parking structure. So we have to remember we're up uh, level five. There's the Disney music. And a Pixar ball. All right, we're heading back through the screening, but we're coming from this side today from the new escalators. Each side has escalators that come down and the screening process is right in the middle. All right, now we're gonna head in line and get ready to get on a tram. Come on. Now that we're leaving, we're gonna do the Pixar Pals parking structure in reverse. The trams are extra long lately. In the tram announcements, they used to specifically say that we were heading back to the Mickey and Friends parking structure, but now they don't say that any longer. They just say the parking structure. All right, folks, go ahead and lower your head and watch your step as you exit on the tram. It's right. We just got off the tram and we're going to head up the escalators. We're here in Pixar Plaza and we're heading up to the new Pixar Pals parking structure where we parked today. Heading up the escalator, we've got to get to Finding Nemo level five. That's where we parked today. And look at the roof level six this is amazing first of all we're up at the top now level six and there are no cars parked up here it's completely empty 
which is just great because it just shows that having the extra parking structure is just gonna be really amazing on really, really busy days. The thing that is also wonderful about this parking structure is they were very smart in putting three elevators on this side and two elevators over there as well. The thing about the elevators, elevators are necessary for strollers and wheelchairs and they get really, really backed up, especially on busy days. There are usually really long lines of people waiting to get down the elevators and up the elevators at the end of the day and this is gonna help that congestion. Up here from the top of the Pixar Pals parking structure, you have a really great view of the walkway. It goes from level two of the Pixar Piers parking structure, and it's gonna go to downtown Disney. And from up here, you can see that that's what they're working on right now. The walkway is gonna be really amazing over there. The path between the two parking structures is open. Behind the camera is the Pixar P Pals parking structure, and this direction is the Mickey and Friends parking structure. So if you were to park in the Mickey and Friends and want to go to downtown Disney, you could walk all the way through the two parking structures down to level two across the bridge and then back in. It also has a drive-through passing here, so the two are connected, which is really cool. Now we're back in familiar territory, Donald parking level. We came down the escalator from Donald parking level to visit our old restrooms. We don't know if they have new restrooms at the new Pixar Pals parking structure yet. We haven't taken the time to figure that out, so we just headed over here so that we could use the restroom before we get on the road. We're now gonna head back up the escalator, back up to Donald, and then we'll cross over to the Pixar Pals parking structure to our car. you again. All right everybody we've made it back to the car finally after our tour of the parking structures. We're gonna end our video here. Hopefully you found it very informative of the new parking structure and the setup. We did just find out that even parking here in the new parking structure we're going to go down the next aisle and back across to the Mickey and Friends parking structure. The exits on the Mickey and Friends parking structure are the only exit ramps. So you have to head back across to go down to the exit. So that's where we're gonna be heading to head home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Coming into the new parking structure was so much easier but leaving is the same because we still are coming back over to the Mickey and Friends parking structure in order to exit like we used to. Up here at the end of each aisle, if you can see, shows the number of parking spots that are available down each aisle so that you can choose an aisle that definitely has spots available before you turn down it to park. But there's a lot of spots. There's a lot of spots. It's great. Even up front, look how many are up in the very front rows. Bye Disney Parks for another day. We'll be back soon.